Okay, good morning and thanks for inviting me. So I'm talking about this protocol uh, that we study with uh, Alessio Meneghetti and uh, Armando Ottaviano Quintavalle. So quickly, who am I? I'm at the University of Trento. I'm a full professor of mathematics teaching algebra and cryptography. I'm the head of the laboratory of cryptography. But also, there is an Italian association of cryptography, which is the Decomponendis Cifris, of which I'm acting director. And then I'm also head of the cybersecurity and cryptography area of a spin-off we have in Trento Intelligent. So I have three heads. OK. So um, we had, as a customer, a large Italian bank. And they wanted to guarantee uh, data integrity for some documents they had with uh, reliability, immutability, and security. OK. So we have three actors here. We have the users, which might, you might think of them as different banks, like. We have the miners. And this thing that we can call an authority, although it's not an authority in the sense of the previous talks. So the users will send uh, something that is related to their documents. The miners will put them in blocks, in a proxy blockchain. And the authority will send a summary of this proxy blockchain to some public ledgers like Bitcoin or similar stuff. So that's the system. So here we have transactions coming from the users. With these transactions, we form a Merkle tree. And the roots of the Merkle tree of single users are put in a block by a miner. OK. So now the miner will make the block, and uh, it will also uh, it will also make a Merkle root with the hash of the whole block, and the Merkle root of all these smaller uh, Merkle trees. And uh, very important here is that the miner will release what we call an open receipt, which is a file which is given back to the user, which will be used by the user to prove that his document has been saved at the end of the day inside the, the public blockchain. This is done by several miners, each one making its own block. And then the authority, after some blocks have been made, uh, of course, the blocks are linked as the blockchain, so there are hash pointers linking all blocks. We'll make a mecha root of everything, and uh, we'll create a transaction to public ledger, actually, uh, with a signature, and this transaction is actually sent to many public ledgers because we don't know if the Bitcoin network will still be here in 10 years' time, but if you send to, I don't know, like 40 public ledgers, you have no problem with fees because one signature is actually protecting thousands and thousands of documents. So the average price for the single domain is very low. But also, when the authority is doing that, it will create a closed receipt that is given back to the users together with the open receipt. OK. So that's the system. Of course, there is a lot of stuff that I can't say how the miners are chosen, formats, etc. but that's the main idea. And we done that uh, one year ago, and it's been working for about one year, and apparently it's working. So. What are the security issues? OK. There are some attacks that can be done. By whom? OK, the users could try to force transaction. Someone could pretend to be a user and trying to send fake transaction, trying to protect documents which are not his. Or there could be ghost document. So a user could try to protect a document which actually is not inserted following the protocol. But the attacker could stay also in the miners. The miners could try to forge transaction to damage a valid users. The miners could give uh, receipt forgery, so fake receipt to um, to uh, okay to 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 let the user uh, let the user think that its document has been saved, but actually it isn't. Then what about the proxy authority? Proxy authority is powerful, but not 
all powerful as an authority suggests, the name. The process authority could be an anchoring failure if it avoids to anchor the proxy blockchain to the public ledgers. It could do that. Or it could do an anchoring forgery. So it, it will send uh, a transaction to a public ledger uh, which is not valid, not following the protocol. Or inserting fake information. But more, uh, even, OK, the most interesting attack is the fake ownership. If the proxy authority, all the miners and the user, actually all the user except one, they can collaborate together against one poor honest user and make a fake ownership. So these are possible kind of attacks, an example of what we consider. For all these, uh, we provide security proof in the sense that Federico show you. But here, I'm not going to give you the theorems, just the main ideas. And first of all, as Federico said, we need the assumption of the primitives. So we need uh, to distribute keys to all the actors. So we need to trust the PKI, which is not related to the authority, it's another PKI. There's nothing you can do about that. We have to trust the public blockchains that we are using. We need the hash function, which is collision resistant. For some of the scenario, we don't need collision resistance. Second pre-major resistance is enough. And uh, we need this thing, which is uh, less common. We need the digital signature does not allow to retrieve the hash of the document. OK. So the transaction forgery is prevented thanks to the security digital signature. The ghost document is prevented just thanks to the hash function. The receipt forgery is prevented using either digital signature or the hash function. The anchoring failure is prevented by using trusted pub blockchain. The anchoring forgery prevented using either digital signature or hash function. And the fake ownership, digital signature will defend everything. So we have, as I said, theorems and proofs like Federico, but I just wanted you to give something so sketch it don't take much time and that's it okay.